Hey everybody, it's Mike from Orderflows and welcome back to my channel. Um, you know, today's video I'm going to be talking about uh, the delta slash volume, the uh, delta divided by volume. You know, there's in a order flow footprint chart, you have the delta, which is the net difference between aggressive buyers and aggressive sellers. You have uh, max delta, which is how strong aggressive buyers were in the bar, meaning the maximum delta was to the positive side. You have min delta, which is the opposite of max delta, so it's how negative um, or how strong the aggressive sellers were in a bar at one point. Obviously, you have cumulative delta. Many of you are familiar with that, which is sort of the running total of delta, either positive or negative, um, since the opening of the session. And there is delta slash volume, delta into volume. And actually, this uh, topic for today's video um, came from one of the comments, right? Uh, the Panker, who's uh, been using my software for a few years, um, wrote, Hi, Mike, I've used your software for a few years and it's changed my trading career. Um, I've requested you to please upload one video uh, for delta slash volume, and it's more, you know, and I guess what he means is um, and how it's used. Okay, so what is delta slash volume right here? So what you're gonna see in a bar, right? Every bar's got delta. Either it's gonna be positive delta or negative delta. Every bar is gonna have uh, volume, obviously, right? And what you're doing is you're dividing um, that delta number into the volume okay so uh, grab the calculator here uh really quick so for example right um you'll see this bar uh right here in the middle right it's got delta of uh minus 192 right and it's got a volume of 1530 right okay so you're taking that negative 192 into 1530 and it's going to give you a negative percentage because the volume sorry the delta rather is negative so you want to be looking at it from an aggressive selling standpoint that's why there's a green background color then there's red right red obviously for negative uh, green for positive so you're not looking at negative volume you're looking at the fact that the 192 into 1530 is uh, 12.55 percent, and it's negative delta, so you know it's a negative, going to be a negative uh, value. And you know, so again, every bar is going to have a value because every bar is going to have delta. Every bar is going to have volume. Now, what we found in our studies over the years is when it gets above a certain threshold, that warrants paying attention to as a trader, right? Because obviously, you know, you're seeing the delta number being you know a certain percentage of the total volume meaning you know it's it, think of it as an imbalance in a way okay it's an imbalance in the aggressive selling in the bar or the aggressive buying in a bar and what it's going to do right on the on an order flows trader chart is it will highlight it magenta color if it's um, negative delta right here at the bottom or cyan if it is um, buying right if it's bullish in a way okay so if you have a positive delta of 849 and you got you see the volume is uh, 2699 that gives you a delta volume percentage of 31.46 percent right so it's over my threshold of 25 percent now in the order flows trader software right you're just going to scroll down here find it it's uh, towards the bottom and you're going to see the extreme delta volume threshold, 25, right? If I wanted to make this a higher number, say 50%, then I would just change this to 50. Then I could change the colors from cyan for, you know, to whatever color I want. But I like cyan and magenta. That's me. If you are on the uh, Go Charting platform, you're going to find that under Bar Statistics. So go to the Studies, go to Order Flow, pull up Bar Statistics, and you're going to see it... Uh, down here right it says he's got the delta sign and percentage so like here's 29.04 right here's 26.72 if it's just red or green that's just your normal uh order flow going through in the bar but when you see a strong number um something above 25 percent or below 25 percent i guess if thinking in the, in the negative sense then that would be bearish now let's just uh talk about it a little bit further now Remember, right, in most markets, you trade decent volume. However, 
if you're trading thinner markets, you got to be careful with it because, for example, right? I, I know I got some guys that trade agricultural markets, and I, I reinforce this with them. You're going to see bars. You're going to say, oh, my gosh, it's negative 100. The bars only had four contracts trade in this one minute. Um, so don't get too excited just on the value. You know, take it, make sure you're checking the volume that goes through. Um, you know, I don't know, British pound. Again, you're seeing some decent volumes go through, you know, something in the hundreds. This is a, a one minute chart. And again, it's going to vary based on the chart you're looking at. You know, if I'm looking at, this is, uh, HE hog. So it's a very thin traded market, but I wanted to show you this on, on a thin market, just, you know, so you're not, automatically uh, seduced by you know these very big numbers but they're big numbers coming in on very thin volume right in the e-minis it's not a problem so you got you know you have decent volume going through in the e-minis that it's you're always going to have you know hundreds or even thousands of, of contracts trading um, in an hour if you were to change so if you're looking at a very thin market you know maybe you want to go to a, a range-based chart um, you know, where you're getting some decent volumes and it may uh, you know, give you a bit, you know, something better to trade around, right? Where you're seeing, um, you know, numbers, you know, contracts, 225 contracts, and you're seeing a, a uh, delta volume of, of minus 29%, right? Things like that. So you don't want to be focusing in on it in a thin volume territory. You want to be having decent volume, right? That I guess that's the one uh, caveat of it, right? But again, in most you know, in the major markets, E-minis, MES, um, volume is not, never going to be a problem in terms of delta volume. Now, like I said, how you want to use these is you want to focus on them, ideally around turning points, right, edges of the market. I find, you know, when a market is sort of topping out or bottoming out, I want to be looking for some signs in the order flow that, you know, there's aggressive sellers if we're topping out or aggressive buyers if we're bottoming out. And it doesn't mean highs of the days or lows of the days. It could be swing highs. It could be swing lows. So, again, this is uh, Friday the 18th. Let me just go back. You know, just sort of step it back to, you know, around the cash open, right? <laughs> That's, uh, you know, when you get the most volume coming into the market. And I'm just sort of looking in here. Okay, so here, right, you got a 27.25 down on the bottom here, right? So I know... The volume is, is quite strong in terms of the delta volume, I guess. Okay, so the delta is minus 1587. The volume itself is 5800. All right, but we just sold off from, you know, the 73 area down to 60s. We just had a 10-point move. And then the next bar after this bar with the strong negative delta volume comes in. Okay, what are you going to do? Well... You just had a 10 point move. You're seeing some bearish things come in. It's probably, can, can the market, of course the market can keep going lower, but I would rather have this delta volume come in either at the swing high or just afterwards, you know, rather than after the market sells off 10 points. Now, you know, if you got short in the next bar, you know, technically the market did go down two points, but again, you know, who's trading, you know, for 10 points if, you know, you'd, you'd want to have something that's going to give you more capacity for a bigger trade. There's nothing wrong with two points. I mean, people will scalp the dome or whatever. You'd be happy with two full points. Now, I'm not talking two ticks, but two points. But at the same time, um, you know, if you're looking to hold it a bit longer before it fell over, it was spending a lot of time against you, right? So that's not really how you want to trade it. You want to be trading them. You know, here we come down into a swing low. Okay. Negative delta minus a thousand. Um, Decent volume, 800. And then the next bar comes in, the bar after the low is made, with the strong delta volume, right? That's why it's colored magenta colored, okay? And you get a, a nice move up from around the 62-ish area, and you get the thin prints all the way up to 65, 66, okay? And it does pull back, um, pulls back sort of into this bar area where that aggressive buying was before it works its way back up. Um, again, going sideways in here, you get the nice bar here, but again, we're breaking out already here, right? We're breaking above 71, which was this swing high. And again, we just had this move from, you know, 
this was the original move, but even from the sideways activity here at, you know, the, the 59, 60 area, and we're trading, you know, 70, you know, here's 74, 75. So, you know, it's already a 15 point move and you get that. Did the market go higher? Yeah, it went higher, but that's not sort of the, the context you want to be looking to take it. Okay. Then you get up here, right? We got this sort of double top coming in here at uh, 76 and a quarter. And you got a strong delta volume to the negative side, minus 33%. Okay, what happens? Market starts to sell off a little bit, turns around, comes back up, okay, stops you out. Fine, I'm fine to live with that, right? And then just sort of wait until, you know, there's another opportunity coming in. You know, not everything, we, we all like to think of perfection, right? Perfection doesn't exist in the market, right? There's no trading system that's 100%. And it, it's funny because, you know, I, I get emails from people um, we'll buy an indicator, then, you know, say, well, you know, it, even if it's, it's correct, you know, 65% of the time, they're like, that's not good enough. Okay. Um, you know, you got to take trades in context, right? This is going to give me a higher, in my opinion, a higher probability of a bigger move, right? So I'm fine to take this move and get stopped out and wait for, you know, the next bigger move. I mean, if you took that one here that came in off this low, right, this wouldn't have stopped you out. It would have pulled back. You would have taken some heat for about five, six minutes. And then it uh, had a nice rally up. But again, you want to be taking those trades, you know, the delta volume when it's coming in at around swing highs or swing lows. Um, okay, see if there's anything else here. Okay, so the market starts moving up here. You get another one up here. Eh, you know, it's coming in around the 70 area. This is 77. <laughs> okay, you know, again, that that's borderline you know i like to give it a little bit closer if, if if instead of coming in here if it sort of came in here i'd be a bit more interested in it than over here um but uh you know here's a nicer one right you got this swing low market sold off you know from the 85s get down into the mid 70s 77 then this bar got a nice uh delta volume 33.73 okay Starts going up, pulls back a little bit, shoots, keeps going up, right? You get your swing high up here. Um, so, you know, you're getting long somewhere around 80, you get up to the 85s, then start coming off. One, two, three, four bars here, strong negative uh, delta volume coming in. And again, market has about a, another five point move down, pulls back a bit, back down to 75 and lower. Get into the swing low down here. One bar, two bars later, nice delta volume down here at the bottom, and start working our way back up again, you know, from 73 all the way up to 78s, um, pull back down to 73, back up into uh, the 80s this time. Okay, so, you know, get another swing high up here, strong delta volume coming in right off the high, you know, somewhere to be selling the 79 to 80 area. Again, sells off down to, literally down to 75, pulls back up into the 80s, back down into the 77s. Um, you know, when you get trades like this, say you're getting short off of, um, you know, this delta volume in here. The market sells off about, you know, five points, pulls back, run, hanging around your entry, makes that other move down. Markets, in, in my experience, at least in, in my trading, um, you get that move. It pulls back. You get another half-hearted move. Um, take what you can at this point. Don't be expecting market to sell off five points, pull back, then sell off again another five points and, and go lower. I'm really looking for that move to happen sooner rather than later. Okay, um, you know, don't don't sit here thinking, oh, it's gonna move five points in my favor, pull back, break even a little bit against me, and then make a move again. Okay, if it starts making a move down in here, take it. You know, in this case, it made a move, pulled back, made a little bit smaller move, pulled back, made another smaller move. At, by this point, if you're not out already in here, taking some sort of profits, you know, of a point, two points, just be happy with what you got. It market just doesn't give you those opportunities um, to really, you know, like go to your take profit if it hasn't already, right? Because that aggressive selling that came in here, you're looking for it to, build upon and keep going down so again um you know that's the delta volume take it in context of the market and again if you're trading a thinner market 
don't get seduced by areas of thin volume and thinking, oh my gosh, you know, this is 63%, but it's 400 contracts. That's decent. But if it's, you know, uh, it's quite a thinner bar here for you. Um, you know, if you're, if you're looking at something like, you know, 38 contracts and it's minus 63%, you know, take that with a grain of salt. Understand the market you're trading. Now, one thing that you can do, right, if, if you're on a thinner market or a different market, you know, market doesn't trade necessarily a lot of size, you can move it up to, say, you just want to see, uh, it was the setting in here, right? I got a 25. You can move it all the way up to, you know, I don't know, 80%. Okay. And this is just going to show me the bars, right, where it's at. 80% here. So let's see if there's anything down here at 80%. Here's 100%, 69 contracts. Okay, yeah, market went up. Here's another 100%, but it's at the high of the day, new highs. I mean, does that mean the market can't go high? I mean, can go higher or got to sell off? Well, do you really want to be buying at highs? I mean, it really depends on, you know, if you're comfortable thinking this market has capacity to move higher. Um, here we made the high of the day, start coming off a little bit. Here's a 92%. Um, you know, market sold off a little bit, sort of bounced back, going sideways, um, you know, and then it ended. But again, not everybody trades uh, hogs, hardly anybody, but there are, I know I, I have some guys that do trade it. Um, but let's take a look at, I'm just curious, um, take a look at bonds, okay? Uh, I have it set at quite high. Um, <laughs> I have it set at, a, at, what, 80%, you know, I probably not going to get anything at, uh, this is a five range chart, but you know, there's nothing there at, I like a four range actually, but at 80%, there's nothing um, in this market, right? In thicker markets, it's going to be a struggle to really get above um, 50%. I mean, we'll, we'll shave it down to 50% and see if there's anything in there. Uh, scroll down. But again, this is how you figure out, you know, on your market, what's a good level right i find 25 percent is good enough for most markets um here right right off this low in the bonds on friday right this was the low at uh, on this 837 bar one two three bars later at 844 a strong 57.55 I, I took it down to 50 percent from 80 percent and you see this nice move up So, I mean, you can see, again, you know, here, this one's sort of in the middle of the range. It's minus 51%. Uh, again, you got to decide, you know, if, if you want to be trading in the middle of the range or not. Look at this on Thursday, the day before. Sold off, came right down, got within a tick of the low, and then that aggressive buying came in. So the delta volume, think of it in terms of aggressive buying, another sign. Um and you got to move. You got a nice move from about the 22 area up to the 26, 27, 28 area. So again, you know, keep those comments coming. Um, you know, if there's anything you want to see a video on, let me know. Okay. And, you know, because this whole concept of this video came from that question from the banker. Um, so anyone, have a great uh, rest of your day and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye bye.